पहले 2011 का क्वेश्चन नंबर वन से थ्री तक डिस्कशन करेंगे उसके बाद का जो वीडियो होगा उसमें हम लोग फोर से लेकर के सेवन तक का करेंगे तीन तीन क्वेश्चंस एक वीडियो में मैं करने की कोशिश करूंगा ठीक है चलते हैं शुरू करते हैं आज का पहला क्वेश्चन पहला क्वेश्चन है सेम कंज्यूम ओनली टू गुड्स एक्स एंड वाई इफ एक्स इज अ गिफिन गुड फॉर सेम देन देखिए गिफिन गुड इज अन इंफेरियर गुड जैसे कि हम लोग जानते हैं कि गिफिन गुड जो होता है वो एक इंफेरियर गुड गुड होता है और इंफेरियर गुड क्या होता है कि जब आपका इंक्रीज इनकम डिक्रीज करेगा तो डिमांड इंक्रीज कर जाता है ठीक है तो सिंस सेम कंज्यूम्स ओनली टू गुड्स वन इज गिफिन गुड तो बोथ कैन नॉट बी अ गिफिन गुड अगर कोई इंसान दो ही गुड का कंज्यूम कंजम्पन करता है एक अगर गिफिन गुड है तो दूसरा गिफिन गुड नहीं हो सकता है तो वाई मस्ट बी वाई मस्ट बी अ नॉर्मल गुड ठीक है तो ऑप्शन बी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है अगला क्वेश्चन देखते हैं सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज मैरिज डिमांड कर फॉर फूड इज टेन माइनस टू पी हियर प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड फॉर फूड एट पी स्टार इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू बाई थ्री फाइन पी स्टार ओके सो लेट्स मूव here quantity demanded is equal to 12 oh sorry 10 minus 2p price is equal to p star and at p star elasticity price elasticity is equal to minus 2 by 3 these are given values now as we know ep is nothing but dq by dp Multiplied by p star divided by q star. Here, p star is nothing but price, and q star is nothing but quantity at price p star. So, e p is equals to d. 10 minus 2p divided by dp multiplied by p star divided by 10 minus 2p star. Now, as ep is given minus 2 by 3, and if we differentiate 10 minus 2p with respect to p, we will get minus 2 multiplied by p star. Divided by 10 minus 2p star. Here minus 2 and minus 2 will get cancelled, and this p star will be multiplied by this 3, and it it will become 3p star is equals to 10 minus 2p star. Now this 2p star and this 3p star will become 5p star. Is equals to 10. Here p star is equal to 10 divided by 5 or 2. Hence p star is equals to 2. Option 1 or A will be correct answer for question number 2. Okay. To the next question. Questions. In a country, cigarettes are forbidden, so people trade cigarettes in a black market. The cigarette demand is Q is equal to 12 minus P, and cigarette supply is Q is equal to 2P. The government becomes aware of this black market and reinforces the police so that half of the cigarette supply would be seized and destroyed. How does the consumer surplus change between the two situation? Here, 
there is two market black market and seized market in black market qd is equal to 12 minus p and qs is equals to 2p the black market equilibrium black market equilibrium will be qd is equal to qs here 12 minus p is equals to 2p or 12 is equal to 3p or p is equal to 4 at p is equal to 4 qd will be 12 minus p or 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 hence in black market qd is equals to 8 and p is equals to 4 now in c's market as the government becomes aware and half of the supply will be destroyed so the supply supply function become 2p divided by 2 as half of the supply portion is destroyed so supply function become only p here seized market equilibrium will be 12 minus p is equals to p here demand remain same but supply become half of the portion and now seized market market seized market equilibriums become 12 minus p is equal to p or 12 is equal to 2p or p is equal to 6 at p is equal to 6 as price increases demand will decrease at p is equal to 6 qd becomes 12 minus 6 or 6 so in black market quantity demanded is 8 at price 4 in seized market quantity demanded is 6 and price is also 6 now we will find consumer surplus consumer surplus there is two, two markets black market and cis market as we know c s is equals to integration 0 to x d x d p minus p into x into x dx is nothing but demand function so cs is equals to 0 to 8 as in black market quantity demanded was 8 dx is 12 minus p dp minus price 4 and quantity is equals to 8 here 12 p minus p square divided by 2 0 to 8 minus 4 8 is equal to 32 now substituting the value minus 8 square divided by 2 since is it is it is 0 so this whole portion becomes 0 so minus 32 is equals to 12 multiplied by 8 is 96 minus 8 square is 64 divided by 2 minus 32 or 96 minus 32 sorry 32 32 minus 32 or 96 minus 4 6 or 32 so the cs 
cs in black market is 32 now we will find consumer surplus in seized market so cs is equal to 0 to 6 12 minus p dp minus 6 into 6 here 12p minus p square divided by 2 0 to 6 minus 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36 here substituting the value 6 minus 6 square divided by 2 minus 36 since it is 0 so this portion becomes 0 12 multiplied by 6 is nothing but 72 minus 6 square is 36 divided by 2 minus 36 or 72 minus 18 minus 36 or 54 minus 36 is equals to 18 so consumer surplus in black market is equals to 32 and consumer surplus in seized market is equals to 18 the difference between these two are 4 1 hence cs is decreased by 14 in seized market answer thanks for watching कमेंट करें कि ये वीडियो कैसा लगा आप लोगों को और ये सीरीज मैं कंटिन्यू करूंगा एक स्पेशलाइजेशन की सीरीज चलेगी एक प्योर की सीरीज चलेगी और एक डेवलपमेंट इकोनॉमिक्स की सीरीज चलेगी ठीक है मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए गुड बाय टेक केयर